just before he left office, President Obama delivered a farewell speech in Chicago that ended in a call to action. If something needs fixing, then lace up your shoes and do some organizing. If you're disappointed by your elected officials, grab a clipboard, get some signatures, and run for office yourself. For Ronnie Cho, a 34-year-old Korean-American, that charge would change his life. He was the millennial outreach director for President Obama, then decided to run for office, seeking a seat on the New York City Council. Ronnie, welcome. Nice to have you. Nice to have you. Thank How you did for you, having me. Oh, my pleasure. How did you go from the, I'm inspired by President Obama, to actually doing the things that would help you then enter an election? Well, in many ways, it was a long time coming. I've spent my career in public service, um, from working on campaigns to serving at the pleasure of the President of the United States. Public service is a big uh, part of my life. And that was the moment I decided to run um, in that, given what's happening in this country and our communities, I felt like those who are inclined to run for office ought to. Um, and you know, with a leap of faith, I decided to, to make the jump, and, and here we are. So what do you say? What's your pitch? Well, I think uh, the city and the Democratic Party, and more importantly, the country needs a new generation of leadership. I think this era of boomer uh, era politics uh, is coming to an end, and it's time for this generation, millennials, generally speaking, the largest generation, um, more diverse, the most educated, most tolerant generation the country's ever seen, really have the opportunity to step in and assume the mantle of leadership. Millennials don't vote. I mean, I think the numbers are like 46% of millennials voted in the last presidential election. I don't count out young people in this election, and I don't count them out for future elections. I think you've seen that the demonstrations, the marches, very much uh, motivated and, and propelled by young people. And I have full confidence that New Yorkers will come out and make a statement in the first election in, since Donald Trump became elected to make a statement about where the city is and who we are and the character we have as, as a city. Uh, and that will be reflected in the turnout that we will have in September. As an Asian American man, do you feel like, hey, listen, I will stick out among my now seven other competitors or yeah, is it seven right. others who are running with you? Or do you feel like, listen, that's going to be another additional you know, hurdle to overcome? Well, yes. You know, I, I, I'm, I am running as the only Asian so far in the, in the race in a district that is uh, about 10 percent Asian. You know, I think uh, it's important for people of all shapes and all sizes, all shades to be a part of this process. And I think, you know, it, it compounds the problem of, of Asians not getting into politics when they don't see someone that looks like them who represents an immigrant story and, uh, and a similar um, bio that I have. Uh, it reflected on the, the political process. If you hadn't been inspired at President Obama's Chicago speech, what would you be doing right now? You know, that's a great question. I, I think I will always be uh, in public service in some, some way. Um, it may not be running for office, but I believe you can serve your, your city and your country in so many ways. My whole life has been about public service, whether it's as a campaigner, the White House, or my role at, uh, as an executive at MTV. Um, all of it was trying to lift up and tell stories uh, that change people's minds about the issues of, uh, at hand. Ronnie Cho, inspired to run. Nice to have you with us. Good luck in the, uh, in the, in the race on September 12th. Thank you so much. You bet.